Good morning to you on this Wednesday. We continue with Mark 11 and today verses 25 and 26, a very serious part of this passage. Jesus said, whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone so that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive you your transgressions. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father who is in heaven forgive your transgressions. Here we see the absolute importance of forgiveness. We pray in the Lord's Prayer, forgive us our trespasses or forgive us our debts as we forgive those who trespass against us. Our forgiveness is dependent upon us forgiving others. If we hold unforgiveness in our sins and we in our hearts, then we cannot expect that God will hear our prayers and we will find that our sins are not forgiven. The Bible tells us if we confess our sins that God is just and able to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, but He won't do it if we hold unforgiveness in our hearts. We need to forgive all. Whenever you stand praying, Jesus said, forgive if you have anything against anyone. Anything against anyone. That covers absolutely every single person in the world. So we need to forgive. We need to forgive. Jesus is our example. When they nailed him to a cross, Jesus looked down and said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they're doing. Stephen, the first martyr when he was being stoned, said, Lord, don't hold this against them. He forgave those who were unjustly killing him. We need to forgive. I know it's difficult. I know we may have people that we find hard to forgive. But we need to realize how much God has forgiven us. And no one has ever done to us what we have done to God by transgressing His commandments, by chasing after other gods, by just breaking all of His commandments. And so He has forgiven us. We need to forgive so that we don't jeopardize our own forgiveness. And if we walk around with unforgiveness in our hearts, it's like we carry around a cancer that will slowly kill us. We need to be free of that. We forgive as He forgave. We forgive in the love of Jesus. We realize how much God has forgiven us and we forgive those who are against us. Listen again to the text. Whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone so that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive you your transgressions. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father who is in heaven forgive your transgressions. Notice how serious this is. Please, please join with me now as we join together in prayer. And if you can think of anybody that has done anything to you that you have not yet forgiven, let's do that right now and God will set us free and our sins will be forgiven as well. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We come into your presence, Lord, this morning, knowing the seriousness of your word and having heard, Lord, that we need to forgive anyone, anything that they have done against us. So wholesale, right here, right now, Lord, we choose to forgive. We forgive those who you have placed upon our hearts that we may be harboring unforgiveness towards. We forgive them absolutely, Lord, and we, we pray a blessing over them. Heavenly Father, thank you for setting us free. Thank you that you forgive us all of our sins and we repent of all of our sins. And we ask, Lord, that you would forgive us, cleanse us, and renew us. Feel us right here, right now, in you with your Holy Spirit. Help us, Lord, to walk in your truth, to walk in your ways, to honor you in word and deed. We look around, Lord, and we thank you for this wonderful creation. We thank you for the beautiful flowers. We thank you for the birds that are singing. We thank you, Lord, for the life that you have given to us. We thank you for the country in which we live in, and we pray for our governments and all in authority. We pray that you give them wisdom and understanding and help them, Lord, to do what is right. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are always with us and that you, by your Holy Spirit, are teaching, guiding and molding and shaping us. We pray for the Ukraine. We pray for an end to the war there. We pray for an end to the suffering. We pray, Lord, today for the sick, the dying and all who are in need. We thank you for the doctors, the nurses, the carers, the ambulance workers and all who are working frontline to help our people who are in need. We lift up before you the souls that don't know you yet, Lord, and we pray that today would be the day. Today would be the day they would come to know you, call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Many, Lord, are caught up in the lie that there's many ways to you. There's only one way. You are the way, the truth, and the life, Lord Jesus. May we be able to show that to people. May we reflect that by our own lives. Heavenly Father, fill us with your spirit. Teach us to walk in your ways. Teach us your word, Lord, that we may walk in your truth. Unite our hearts to fear your name, that we may walk in your truth. 
And so, Lord, I lift up before you all my listeners, and I pray for each one of them, Lord, that you would bless and keep them. And hear us now as we join together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.